a simple case study to understand how debt equity ratios are calculated. Here you can see the balance sheet extract where shareholder funds information is available, non-current liabilities and current liabilities that is total outside liabilities are available. But our task is computing debt to equity ratio. So what is the formula for debt to equity ratio? It is basically long term debt divided by shareholders funds. When we say long term debt, they are basically non current liabilities. In this case, it is this 80,000. Whereas the denominator is shareholders funds. So when we say shareholders funds, that comprises equity share capital and reserves and surplus and the total is 160,000. So now computing debt to equity ratio is very simple. Long term debt of 80,000 divided by shareholders funds of 160,000 and that gives the value as 0.5 and as a ratio we will express it as 0.5 is to 1 and what does that mean? For every 1 rupee owners funds in the business this business has a borrowings of 50 paise and this ratio looks very healthy because the borrowings are lesser than what owners have contributed. 